I take 100 milligrams of methadone a day. Deborah Wade spent most of her life as an addict. Her love affair with painkillers and opiates started when she was seven, and a doctor gave her pain meds after a surgery. I can remember just absolutely begging for those shots, pain shots. And I was only seven. She says she used heroin, spent 20 years on methadone, and most recently relied on 11 Xanax pills a day. Well, I'm a little bit nervous, but I feel like I'm in good hands. She came to Dr. Spinagola of Florida Detox when all their treatments failed. We're going to physically move the methadone off your opiate receptor. Deborah was put under general anesthesia, so she basically slept while her body went through accelerated detox under the doctor's supervision. They put me under, and when I woke up, I got all the tubes out of me and started walking the halls and going outside and smelling the roses and watching the plants and, and the little lizards running around on the ground and felt wonderful. But this doctor says in order to keep a patient from relapsing, you have to treat the cause of the addiction, and that's where the brain scan comes in. And this is the cerebellum. This is the cerebellum. The cerebellum should be red. It should always be more overactive than any other part of your brain. But Dr. Spinagle says Deborah has red areas in other areas of her brain, including the brain's emotional center. He says her scan shows her brain makes too little serotonin and too much dopamine. Patients who make too much dopamine have an edge. They idle at 2,000 RPMs instead of 1,000. That, he says, caused Deborah to feel anxiety, worry, even panic. And that, he believes, is the root cause of her addiction. She chased opiates because they turned down the electricity. With a brain chemistry scan backing up his diagnosis, he says he prescribed Deborah Lexapro, an antidepressant, to enhance her serotonin levels, and a dopamine blocker to turn down the electricity in her brain. Five months later, back for a checkup, Deborah says she remains drug and alcohol free. I have not had any cravings whatsoever, none.